Matthew 8, 17. Hapos, plerothe ta rethen dia ezaiu tu prafetu. Legantas, autas tas astheneas hemon elaben, kaitas nasus ebastasen. Remember right before we're told that Jesus was casting demons out of people and he was healing all their sicknesses, healing all the sick people. And then we have this hopos that introduces purpose, so that, right? So that, or with the result that, and then, ah, 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 we know the subjunctive's coming. As soon as we see that theta, bam, that's an aorist passive subjunctive. That's a third person singular ending from the verb plerao. It's been a while since we've seen one of these fulfillment citations in Matthew. We saw a lot of them for a while, and now here's another one. So that, that which was spoken, in this rathen, the article tells you it's neuter nominative singular. The lexicon will generally classify this as coming from lego, even though it's obviously built on a different root. Sometimes you'll find it different places, but it's part of, it's adopted into the lego family. It's a neuter nominative singular participle, just a just an aorist passive participle, right? That which was spoken, divine passive, aorist passive participle, that which was spoken, the thing which was spoken, so that that which was spoken by the Lord through Isaiah the prophet, right? There's an appositional restatement. Who is Isaiah? He is the prophet. That that, that which was spoken would be fulfilled. And then we have a pleonastic participle here of Lego introducing the quotation of Isaiah 53.4. We don't need autos, because that information is in the ending of the verb, so some English translations will emphasize that by saying he himself. So he himself took, from Lambano, second heirs, took our infirmities, or our illnesses, or our weaknesses, and he bore, and implied, the hemon, there's no ellipsis here, is implied, and he bore our diseases. He carried our diseases. 